Bringing you Health Watch at 8.13 this Monday morning. Women, wine, and weight. A new study comes to a surprising conclusion. Women who consume light to moderate amounts of alcohol are likely to gain less weight than those who abstain altogether. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with the details. Good morning, Good Doc. Good morning, Maggie. So this seems to defy conventional wisdom. This potentially has some real impact, this study. It has big numbers. It looked at over about 20,000 women, followed them about 13 years, came out of a very reputable institution, Harvard's Brigham and Women's, found that women who were all non-obese when they started this follow-up period all gained weight over the follow-up period of 13 years. However, the women who consumed alcohol on a light or moderate basis gained the least, and the women who consumed wine over other forms like beer and spirits also gain the least. So again, a very important association. So let's talk about that last point that you made a little bit more. It, different types of alcohol had different effects on the women. Exactly, and it's not clear why, obviously. This didn't show cause and effect, but what they found is that women who drank red wine gained less than those who drank beer spirits. We know things like pina colada is well, obviously not low. Exactly, exactly, and that men gained more than women. Why do you think that men saw a different effect? Again, the theory is not definitively known, but one of the ideas is that women tend to substitute alcohol for other potentially high carbohydrate foods, whereas when men consume alcohol, they're adding those calories oh, on okay. top of what they're normally eating. Also, women do tend to metabolize alcohol differently. There are a lot of theories, no firm evidence yet. All right, we don't want women to, to run away with this and think I can drink a whole bottle of wine. Exactly. The key is light to moderate. How much would you say is a beneficial right, amount? Right, so let's go through that. We have here, this is an example, it's four ounces of of wine okay. considered is considered light or moderate. Now, to compare, this is four ounces in my hand. This is what you could get in a restaurant. So we, oh. we really need to qualify. Wait, wait, we, didn't, we didn't show that well. Okay, so you can ounces, see a big but difference. This is what you would get in a restaurant, which is significantly more. Absolutely. So four ounces okay. a day for women, which is the equivalent of one alcoholic beverage. For men, moderate or light alcoholic intake is one to two drinks a day. I know that we recently, not so long ago, talked about a study that linked drinking to cancer. So we do want to talk about the risks. Yes, yeah, absolutely, Maggie. And this is one of those areas in medicine. It's not black or white. You really want to strive for a middle ground or a gray zone. Obviously, high alcohol consumption has been linked to different types of cancer, liver problems, brain problems, it can weaken the heart muscle. The American Heart Association is very clear, if you don't drink now, don't start for these okay. proposed benefits. But if you do, maybe wine is the way to go. Four ounces a day. No more. Got the prescription. And none for you. I know. <laughs> Three more months, That's I know. Right. <laughs> Doc, thank you so much. You bet.